The data relating to two companies are as given below. What is the requirement? You are required to calculate operating leverage, financial leverage, and combined leverage of the two companies. Read the company. Okay. Let's see. We start with the selling price. Um, number of units sold being 60 and 15. So we have two companies. Company A as well as company B. Units sold being in case of A, 60,000 units, in case of B, 15,000 units. And uh, sales being 30 and 250. Okay, 30 and 250, 30 into 8, 60, how much is it? 30 into, huh? 18 lakhs, 250 into 15,000, 37 lakhs, 50,000. Minus variable cost 10 and 75, 6 lakhs for A, 11.25 lakhs is for B. Now, contribution being 12 lakhs for A, this will be. 26.25 lakhs. From there, we have to subtract the fixed cost 7 and 14, 7 lakhs and 14 lakhs. And you will get what? EBAT. The EBAT for A being 5 lakhs for B. 12 lakhs 25,000. 12 lakhs 25,000. From the EBAT, you have to subtract interest. The debentures being 4 lakhs carrying 12 percentage interest for A, 48,000. For B, 6 and a half lakhs for the 12 percentage being how much? 78,000. Huh? 78,000. Then we will get EBT. EBT, huh? EBT being 4 lakhs 52,000 for A, 4,52,000 lakhs 52,000 being A for B, hmm? 11.47 lakhs. Now we can calculate the operating leverage. The Operating leverage will be the relationship between C and EBAT. The relationship between these two will be the financial leverage. And uh, overall will be the combined leverage. So, contribution by EBAT. For A, come on. What is the value? 2 point. 2.4 will be the answer for A, for B, 2.14. Then financial leverage is equal to EBIT by EBT. EBIT by EBT, 1.11 and 1.07. Combined leverage is equal to C bar. EBT or you have to multiply these two to get this one 2.66 2.29 2.29 2 